Live from the GW Zoo on Easter Sunday, this is Steepcast 15. Cast reporting to you live from the top of Mount Blanc. Snow mist be making you miss me. Cause I'm hucking a dub 12, I'll throw it into a misty. I'm a hunter, not a huck a mother. Man, I wish we were live from the GW Zoo. It's probably a whole lot warmer than it is on the East Coast this weekend. But welcome back to episode 15 of the Steep Cast. Let's jump into some steep news. First off, the Tartiflet Games Knuckle Huck competition is starting to come together. The submission window has closed. Thank you to everyone who submitted. I believe we have 25 riders looking to put themselves on the map with the second ever Tartiflet Games competition. We will keep you guys up to date. Right now, the videos are being sent off to our judges around the world so we can figure out who the heck is going to actually win this thing and walk away with the title of... The Tartifleck Games Knuckle Huck Snowboard Spring 2020 Champion. Ultra Mega Deluxe Grand Supreme. As soon as those judges are finished with their rankings, we will get these videos edited and pushed out to you guys. You can keep up to date on this competition and dates of release on our Discord and Twitter pages. The Steep Community Challenge 3 has wrapped up and everyone should be unlocking the sled if we met the 15,000 runs, so be sure to check out one of the best sports in Steep. And finally, Check My Steez is doing another competition, so be sure to head to their Discord if you haven't already to see the video submissions and to enter for yourself. With all that tasty Steep news, I'm getting hungry for something, Nick. Do you know what? I think I know what, and I think you know what, what, what? It's time for the Reddit Roundup! Goodness gracious, I just take my headset off when I know you're going to record that and I can still hear it. I'm getting to the point where my mic cannot handle that. I'm sorry for that loss of audio quality there. Anyways, our first submission this week comes from Stalif and it's called It May Not Be Pretty But It's Still My Favorite Jump. He's bombing down the mountain in what looks like Alaska based on the icebergs floating, but hits the kicker and pulls off a massive, massive air and some flips over the rocks and then comes down for a landing. One of the more unique places that I've seen in Alaska. Our next post is a picture from Sprogger. They love playing around with the camera mode in this game, and this is a gorgeous picture taken on the side of a Japanese mountain. The fact that that entire bottom half of the picture is encapsulated in cherry blossoms makes me think that this picture was taken for me, or Obzin, or for Sprogger, who also shares the correct opinion that Japan is the most beautiful mountain range in the game. We got a video from Nate Hotshot during the community challenge, and what I love is that he's able to land on two different rocks and then comes very close to the third one while doing a nice nose grab and then a massive drop before hitting the snow and landing. We also have some old screenshots taken by user Fake Tropics. Definite 90 vibes going on here in these neon screenshots. I love the coordination with the wingsuit rider and the snowboarder. This is just such a great use of dead space in a picture. Finally, we got into the distance from Jieg is a text to speech app pronounced it. So I'm going to go with that. But it looks like he's in Japan and it's just a shot over the edge of the mountain. And then he comes flying by with the skis and drops into nowhere. So a great cinematic shot. And as always, thank you to everyone who allowed us to use their videos in this week's episode of Steepcast. And now let's take a jaunty stroll over to the main topic. This week I got really, really bored, so I was looking up articles about snowboarding and skiing, and I found one from back during the Vancouver Olympics called The Science of Snowboarding. And believe it or not, snowboarding is a study of- Whoa, 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 hold on. No offense, but that sounds like a total snooze fest. But what about the kinetic and potential energy stored in a snowboard during a half pipe? (sighs) Maybe we can make that a podcast or something, but we really need something good and fun to listen to during the steep cast. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking it's time for another questions with Chris. 
Last week, we got another wonderful question drop from our friend Chris Wan. He started off by asking us if we could add one thing to Steep, but we have to remove something else. What would that be and why? So Mitch, you can put whatever you want into the game, but in order to do that, you have to remove one item of comparable value. What'll it be? I actually got to think about this a little bit. Well, while Mitch thinks I can definitely give my answer, I know that this is a cookie cutter bandwagon answer, but it has to be snowmobiles. It has to be. That would be the most fun element to put into this game. Just have one more thing that you could rip around the mountain on. I want speeds like the rocket wingsuit on the snow itself. I really think that could be a fun element. And if I had to get rid of something, I don't know. I think I might go with base jumping just because that sport never really was my favorite. I like the wingsuiting, I like the parachuting, I like the rocket wingsuit, but base jumping, I was never able to maximize that discipline's potential. I don't know, that's just me. Yeah, I would definitely agree that snowmobiles would make it very nice and cool to explore all of the mountains and you could race by. I think we talked about you could tow a skier or a snowboarder too, so you could turn it into one of those crazy action sports. Yeah, there's a lot you can do with that. And base jumping is just, it's its weird in the game. There's only a few places that you can use it. It's not really used in any montages, and it's just kind of reminds me of Assassin's Creed where you have to jump off of every tall object, except there's not that many tall objects to jump off of. The thing that I wanted to add steep most of all is a much better video editor. One along the lines of the Rockstar editor in Grand Theft Auto, or the one that was in Skate 3, I believe, had a very similar one, where once you get the timeline of your run, you can set camera angles and set where they change. So you don't have to do this constant starting and stopping and steep, changing the camera angle, recording all of that, uploading all of those or saving them to a hard drive and then going into a video editor. It's a lot of steps that cuts out a lot of the community. They just don't want to put in that effort or it can be too much for them. I know, I believe John aside, the guy who's been making all of those cool music video edits, he does all of it on his phone because he sends all of the clips to YouTube, downloads them to his phone, and then has to arrange them. So there could just be that better way where you can have the entire thing directed and edited in steep, and then you just have a simple record and upload from the game. Yeah, I would sing that from the mountaintops to put that in the game because it will have better user-created content because it's easier, and it keeps them in the game longer too. So your people are playing the game even longer. So what are you getting rid of? Uh, please tell me it is Winterfest. No way I'm getting rid of Winterfest. I thought it was cool. They're just, it, there wasn't enough almost, oh I would say. I know some people really don't like it, but it was at least unique. Unique is a good word to describe it. Okay, so what are you getting rid of in the game? Uh, I mean, you took out base jumping, so I don't want to go for that. I would want them to remove the current sled, but I want them to add a better sled back, so I'm not going to really count that either. Yeah, we'd have to check the rules on that one. I got it. I want them to take out the very high pitch noise that plays whenever you're maxing out your G-Force meter. Oh, yes. Because that high pitch ringing can mess with my tinnitus a little bit because I always have ringing in my ears. And I mentioned it a week or two ago when I was recording for Steepcast, I was doing the community challenge, but since it was by the rocks, but every 10 seconds, my video would have that high pitch ringing. So I couldn't use any of the background audio because I didn't want that playing in the back of this video. Well, I'm sure our listeners thank you for that. He also gave us three album recommendations, which reminds me our Steepcast favorite albums playlist is officially up on Spotify, so you can either search for it or you'll find the link down below. I've been adding everyone's recommendations there, and I'll continue to add them if they pop up, but we'll probably do more playlists in the future. Thanks guys, and for everybody else, welcome back to the Steep Kit Review. Jumping right into it, we start with Allosaurus. Riding down the mountain with the black and red primary colors. I'm um, giving him a 3 out of 5 for aesthetic, 3 out of 3 for variety, and a 2 out of 3 for time limited items. Rolling right into our next submission, we have Care Wingsuit Man in his renowned Captain Steep Ski Set. 
Unfortunately, while hitting the great variety and rarity in this set, he does not have the aesthetic that I was expecting. Uh, the, the mismatching and uncomplimenting gear puts it at a 2 out of 5 for aesthetic. Our last submission for this week is actually a two-parter from Smash. This is to give you guys a general outline of what I'm looking for in the aesthetic review. As far as points go, outside of thematic reviews, I'm going to have to give this one a 1 out of 5. The Ugly Sweater competition winner? Maybe, but this isn't that. Uh, color and aesthetic are completely mismatched, and this does not stick to a pattern. So unfortunately, I have to give it the lowest rating review. But the variety is a 3 out of 3, rarity 1 out of 3 for being store-bought. But Smash can prove that he is not all bad at his aesthetic. On the reverse, he actually has our best 5 out of 5 complimenting green armada set that I've seen so far. It pulls out all the stops in the authentic, yet polished, stand out on the mountain. Uh, one of, this one deserves another look, guys. I mean, seriously, the green and the black work so well together. Uh, I only docked points for variety that it doesn't have a tertiary color, but otherwise it is beautiful, and this is a set I would love to have myself. Uh, 1 out of 3 for rarity, just because because everything is store-bought, but otherwise, very well done. We didn't get any submissions for Rock the Mountain, but we did get some more for the Knuckle Huck, so here is one from Flair, just about to drag his ski pole on the knuckle, so a great shot. Love the snow blur in the background. And our other random submission this week comes from Kerr. Um... I don't know, is that a UFO? What is that? Yeah, I don't think he knows either. Anyway, it was a cool pick. Very cool pick. We also got some more submissions for Knucklehuck, so if you're in our Discord, you can find some cool ones in the weekly challenge submissions. And we got some from Nate Hotshot on Reddit. I've used a couple of those pictures in advertisements for the Knucklehuck challenge saying three days left and so on, so you might continue to see more of your photos in those posts. And speaking of Kerr, we have a demonstration of next week's photo challenge. Next week, we will be showing the submissions from prom pics. Again, thanks to Kerr for this wonderful example. Feel free to take your prom pictures wherever you find the perfect spot on the mountain. And after that, the following week, we will be looking for your after party pictures. What are you doing after the prom on the mountain in the game? We look forward to it. As always, you can submit those pictures to us via Reddit, our Discord, or Twitter at Nick or Mitch. Oh, and also use the hashtag SteepCast. Sorry, I forgot to say that. I hope to see some awesome submissions for these weekly challenges, but now it's time to head into the normal Q&A. We got one question from Seb asking, is there a place in the Alps or Alaska or Japan that you'd love to see being used in a future CMS competition? In other words, do you have a favorite mountain face somewhere that you love free riding at? Yeah, shout out to Point Per Se, but anything in Japan would be cool as well. I mean, I'm always talking about cherry blossoms, so anything with cherry blossoms would be sweet, but Point Per Se is the OG. I mean, you can never go wrong with that one. I would agree with Point Per Se. I do have a spot that I like too. I love the ultra natural challenges from Red Bull in the game. So on Aiguille Vert, there's the ultra natural Depetude, and that spot has some really cool features. There are a bunch of these wooden platforms sticking out of the mountain, plenty of trees to go through. And then at the bottom, they have that avalanche fencing that you can either jump over or sometimes slide underneath. And then you can finish off the run in the little town of Montrox. So that's the spot that I would recommend. Thank you guys again for all of the submissions and questions this week. Please, please put your questions down in the comments below. We will answer them next week or whenever we don't have a main topic again. Thank you to everyone listening. Stay safe. I'm Nick. Et je suis Mitch et on vous verra sur les pistes.